Hey, explorers! Welcome back to another wild adventure into the world of nature. Today, we're going to answer a big question. What happens when a food chain breaks? Hmm, sounds serious, doesn't it? Don't worry, I'll guide you through it step by step, and what we can do to help prevent it from happening. Do you remember what a food chain is? It's the way energy moves from one living thing to another. First, we have plants. They can be called producers. Then, animals that eat plants, herbivores like rabbits. We call these animals consumers. And then come the carnivores, carnivores like foxes. They are also consumers. Finally, we have animals like fungi and bacteria. They get rid of animals when they die. They are called decomposers. Each one plays a vital role, but what happens when something goes wrong? Let's say there's a drought. That means there hasn't been any rain for a long time. The grass has disappeared, and there are few plants. Uh-oh! Now the rabbits don't have enough to eat. If the rabbits start to disappear, Guess who's in trouble next? The foxes! They need to eat rabbits to survive. When one part of the food chain breaks, the whole chain gets wobbly, just like dominoes falling. This is called a disruption, and it can cause big problems across the ecosystem. Animals not having enough food in their ecosystem means they will die. It could also lead to them entering new ecosystems and disrupting them as well. Let's take another look at our forest ecosystem. What if the predator disappears? Let's say the fox gets sick or its home is destroyed. Now the rabbits have no one to keep their numbers low. Too many rabbits might eat all the plants. And if the plants disappear, the whole food chain suffers. Now other animals won't have enough to eat. Predators are important because they keep balance in nature. Without them, things can get out of control, fast. When ecosystems are disrupted, animals might wander into new ecosystems in the search for food. This can cause a food chain disruption. These new animals move in and eat too much. When people cut down forests where animals live, a food chain disruption occurs. That's why protecting animals and their homes is super important. But here's the good news. There are things we can do to help. We can protect nature, reduce, reuse and recycle. Plant trees, Learn about animals and their homes. Even small actions can make a big difference. Let's recap. A food chain is a line of who eats who. It is energy flowing through nature. When one part is missing or broken, the animals and even plants can be affected. If prey disappears, predators suffer. If predators disappear, prey can grow out of control. That's why every piece of nature matters. Thanks for exploring with me today. Now you know what happens when a food chain breaks and how we can protect them together. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay curious little explorers and I'll see you in our next adventure.